Hello, students and grown-ups. I hope you liked looking through the slides and learning about calligraphy. And right now, I'm going to show you how you can actually do your own calligraphy prints at home without having to use anything but simple materials. Let's see what we need. For today's activity, you will only need simple materials. A drawing tool, scissors, some glue, some plain paper, any kind of plain paper, some stiff paper like index cards or cereal boxes or any of this kind of thin cardboard that you might have in your recycle bin and some crayons and crayons with the paper peeled off are really good for this project so if you have old crayons they're going to be just fine for the first part of this activity i'm going to be using that stiff paper and this was like a kind of a card that came in the mail the index cards and then like cardboard packaging and i'm going to we seem to have a lot of index cards so i'm going to use an index card and this card that came in the mail and you can make your collagraph as big as you want so you can even make it this big as long as however big your piece of paper is so i think i'm going to use this and some of this other card to work on my collagraph. So what I want to do is think of my subject matter and what my picture is going to be about. And instead of like drawing it the traditional way with like crayon on paper, we're going to be cutting out the parts of our picture. So I think I'm just going to start, you know, adding. And I think I'm going to do something fall like, oh, here, this just came to my head. How about some fall leaves? Since it's fall and it's nice fall weather today. So I just made a leaf shape. You can draw it first and then cut it out if you need to. That's why you need your drawing tool. So and then I'm just gonna add a very little bit of glue because I want it to dry quickly and I don't want it oozing out. So here's a leaf and then I can even go ahead and do you know how a leaf has those um, design, like the veins of a leaf? I can make those also out of paper to make my leaf more interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that detail. And I think it might be a little hard for you to see it the white on the white, but I'll do something on this paper now. So I'll make another leaf shape so you can just draw the leaf with your drawing tool. Cut it out. This is such a great way to reuse some of those recyclable materials too. And I'm just gonna keep working on my design and glue that down. How, what I'm gonna do right now. So I finished my picture. I added a little pumpkin at the bottom with some leaves on the ground and some whooshy kind of shapes for wind and then the leaves. So now the only thing I need to do is to let this dry because I don't want any of that wet glue to make any problems for me when I start to make my prints. So find a spot where you can put this to dry and just let it sit for a little while. So it's been some time and I let my little collage picture dry so there's not a lot of wet glue oozing out 
And now I can start doing the printmaking. If you were in school, we would actually be taking a tool called a brayer, which is kind of like a roller, and we would be rolling ink over this. And then we would put it on our paper and rub it like that. And, and then the picture would show up here, but we're at home and we don't have e printing ink and brayer, so we're going to make our prints just with paper and crayon. So once your cardboard is dry, you can lay paper on top of it. And then this will work best with darker colored crayons and peeled crayons. And um, you're not gonna color like you normally would. You'll lay your crayon flat on the paper and rub it like a crayon rubbing if you were going to do like a, a texture rubbing. So watch my picture as I rub my crayon. Everything that I added really shows up. Just really hold your paper steady. Oh, I was hoping that would look cute. Look at how cute the pumpkin is. And the little leafy ground is very cute too. And guess what? you are able to get more paper and do it again and again. So wouldn't this be a fun way to make cards for somebody? You know, you could make a, a Christmas picture and, and then do a whole bunch of these and give them out as a Christmas gift or a Christmas card or uh, for a birthday, or thank you notes, and look what else you could do. You can get some more colors and add some more colors in if you wanted to. And I think that is so fun, and guess what? As long as you have this, you could make as many of these as you want. So I could just keep going and going and going. Isn't that fun? And, and then if we were doing traditional printmaking, we would call each one of these an edition. So you would number it like this was the first edition, second edition, and you could number it. And if you were a famous printmaking artist, the first edition is always the most valuable one. And then the ones after that are less valuable. So that's just a fun little fact. I wanted to show you one more fun thing with Collagraph printing, and I just kind of had an idea with those index cards are so small, and I did like a little jack-o'-lantern shape. And if I have some notebook paper or copy paper, and I fold it like this, and then I fold it again, I can open it up. And you see, it almost fits perfectly. And I just kind of thought this was a fun, different way to do it where you do four prints on the same. Look how good, if you really need to like go around and rub it very well all the way. Look at four different prints on the same paper I thought could be really fun. So I really, I just got curious and I wanted to try it. And these would be great. What if you needed to decorate for a party? This would be a fun way to decorate. And um, see how I'm using the side of the crayon to rub it? That makes it work so much better than if you were to just color it you know, the regular way. Ooh, this would be a good one, this purple color. And I just love how you can do as many of these as you want and experiment with the color. And do you know what else you can do that I'm just thinking of right now? If you did your print of your collagraph plate here. This would be called the, this is the plate. And you decided maybe you wanted to add more. You could 
go back and add more to it. So that'd be a great way to stretch your learning out a little bit is to add some more detail to it and see how that comes out. Oh, that's, oh, I actually like this one way better where I did the same one four times. It reminds me of some pop art. I hope you try. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this. I had a ton of fun with this. And if you do try this activity, your teachers would love it if you could take a picture of it and email it to them. And I would love to see what you make too. So if you wanna email me a picture, I would really love to see it. And I hope you enjoy doing this. And I hope you learned a lot about calligraphy.